Hey there, this is Taryn and uh, I'm here today to give you a little tutorial on the Bishop. This is the Bishop V6 uh, made by Bishop. A guy named Franco Vescovi owns Bishop. He is a really fantastic body tattooer uh, that uh, been doing body tattooing for 20 years. Uh, back in 2009, he started his company Bishop and started making some of the most kick-ass rotary tattoo machines in the industry today. I've been a big fan for a long, long time because of his craftsmanship, the thought and concern and uh, engineering that goes into every machine he makes. I've had the pleasure of meeting him. He's a great man, great tattooer, and he makes great machines. So uh, I. So I, I use them in my own personal practice on my own clients and I carry them on my store and offer them uh, to you as well. And so this is the V6 and it weighs uh, under four ounces, about three, and it's fairly quiet. I'm gonna rev it up in a little bit so you can hear it, but it's made with a uh, German motor, a Fallhaber German motor to be exact. The precision on this machine is out of this world. And that's uh, really important to me, is uh, not just the quality of the motor and the machine, but the precision of it. You know, that, that plays a huge role in our work. And so this machine, it, it's got a lot of power and it's got crazy precision. It's built really rugged. It feels good in the hand. It's priced at 395. It will last you a long time. It's a great, great machine. This machine takes the needle on the bar. Um, not everybody likes cartridges, cartridges or cartridge uh, machines. So if you want a needle on the bar machine, you want to get away from cartridge machines, uh, this would be the machine I would, uh, you know, um, ad advice or, or offer to you. It's, it's, it's fantastic. I, th I think you guys will really, really love it uh, the way we all do here in the studio. But uh, it comes with a one-year warranty and, uh, and this machine does take lube every now and then. You're talking every two or three months. You just put a little drop of lube right there. One drop and then run it for like 30 seconds. That's it. That's all the maintenance. And you'll do that right when you get your new machine. You'll put a little drop right there, one drop, one tiny drop, run it for about a minute, let it get all nice and lubed up, and you won't have to do it again for two or three months depending on how often you're using it. Okay, so it takes an RCA cord, um, which I love, and these are the cords that I sell. And of course, they're hot pink, because I love pink. And just like everything else I use in my practice, um, look, I've always been a tattooer that my entire permanent makeup career, I've never chinsed. I've always used high, high quality products, and that's all I carry on my store. Everything I carry on the Girls Inc. store is either a product or a tool that I personally use, uh, personally believe in because a good colleague of mine uh, uses them and believes in them, but all high, high quality stuff. And we back everything that we sell on the store. And of course we offer, I think, unsurpassed support. Girl power. <laughs> but let's get into the Bishop. When I've got someone new into rotaries and they're asking, look, you know, I'm, I'm new to rotaries. I want to get into a rotary with a uh, needle on the bar. Uh, the Bishop is what, where I'm going to send them to, the Bishop. I carry the Valor as well, but the Bishop to me is uh, easier. It's easier to learn, and so uh, let's let's just do a little demo on it. So I already took the needle out of the package. I use only Tatsol needles. I think they are the best in the industry. Uh, it's what I use in my personal practice for like the last eight years. I don't product shop, you guys. Once I find, and that's what I see too often today. People are just jumping, jumping, jumping products, jumping suppliers. Uh, I, I've never been like that. I, I find something that works, works really good. My work is healing awesome. And I get, I, I become very, very loyal to it. And I think that's important for all of us is, is to uh, not buy a lot of fluff, 
and uh, find, uh, find a supplier that you really like, you really trust. Uh, find some needles you like, machines you like, pigments you like. Stick with them. Learn them like the back of your hand. Learn them like nobody's business inside and out and sideways. And that's how we get really, really good with our products and tools is sticking with them, learning them, and uh, mastering them. And you'll start to see that reflect in your work. People that are just jumping, 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 jumping. Yeah, you know, my personal opinion is they don't really uh, tend to master it. You know, uh, they're, 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 they're just too busy, you know, jumping products. Um, so, so Tatsol needles, medical grade stainless steel. They have a really long taper. That's why I love them. They got an extra long taper actually, which means less trauma uh, in the skin. So extra long taper and they're highly, highly polished. They are, they're like slick. So what that means for us is extra long taper, highly polished. That means in and out of the skin, like butter, super slick, less trauma. And that's what's what it's all about for us when we're tattooing the face, you know, is less trauma getting in, depositing as much pigment as possible and getting out with a uh, little trauma as possible. And that's what these tat sole needles do. Okay. Uh, the grip, I use tat sole grips for many, many years. Same reason. Let me put down that needle because it's high quality. They're about a dollar 40. Oh, and these needles, a box of 50 for anywhere between $15, $1.5 and $25, 25. 50 needles, 5 0 for 15 to 25 bucks, depending on uh, the size needle you're buying. Can't beat that. The grips, um, you can buy grips for, you know, 50 cents or, or, or less or, you know, a dollar. And I, I don't like them, you guys. You know, I've been using these Tat Soul Wrath grips for many, many years because they're made with uh, fantastic, high quality uh, plastic. These don't twist and turn on you. That won't twist and turn on you. And the, the, the grip is very spongy, which is important to the health and longevity of our hand. It absorbs the vibration. It helps with fatigue. Uh, so these are about $1.40 each. You throw them away at the end of each procedure. They are fantastic grips. Okay, so when we put our needle in, we want to put our needle in mostly, uh, we're going to have our needle in mostly the loop is going to be on the right. Okay, the opening of the loop will be on the right, like 99.9% .9 of the time. Every now and then you'll get a box of needles where the loop is actually on uh, the left. It's really going to how you put it in like maybe 1% of the time. But like I said, 99.9% of the time, right when you take the needle out of the package, the opening on the loop is gonna be on the right. That's just how you're gonna put it in. Now let me, know, let me show you a more exact way to ensure you're putting your needle right side up and not right side down. You can see right here. Now, that is upside down. This is your needle, you guys, right here, right there, that little thing. That's your needle head. This is your needle bar, okay? So if you have your needle in and, and the needle is on uh, the top, okay, that's wrong because then there's going to be a gap. There's going to be a gap between uh, the needle and your tip. You want the needle riding on the bottom of the tip. So you want to make sure your needle, you guys, is on the bottom okay right here see your needle right here you want to make sure it's on the bottom and it's going to be on the bottom of your tip and what that means for us is that um, the needle itself will be lying on the bottom of the tip and that gives our needle more stability more precision okay so again needle is going to be on the bottom right here you can see it right here at the bottom if you have it like this and the needles on the top whoop that's wrong okay that's wrong uh, that's wrong and that's right right on the bottom okay now let's put it in so 
do it always you know set up your machine over your work tray not over the floor so if you drop anything it doesn't drop too far and hopefully you didn't break anything always change out your needle if you break that I mean drop that you might damage your tips but I drop it in there and make sure you don't bump anything going through the other reason I really love these grips is because you just don't bump anything you know now other grips that I've tried you know in years past on the inside of the tip they've just got chunks of plastic man so when you put your needle through I mean you're just banging in and trying to maneuver your, your needle tips around plastic and if you put your needle through and you're banging plastic you're gonna bend your needle tips or you're gonna get a bunch of plastic or crap in your needle tips and then you might implant that in someone's skin so that's not good so th these grips are super high quality uh, you really don't have to worry too much about bumping your needle tips as you can see so dollar forty we carry these on our store and they're some of the best grips you can get so then um, you grab your bishop and point everything down if you're trying to put it up like this then of course your needles just gonna fall out so Put everything point everything down so your needle stays in and you're just going to put your needle in about right there Oop, make sure you got that up there you go and just put the, your, the back of your tube in just a little bit not too much and then tighten this up just tighten that up a little bit now you can see I got that in there I can shake it. it's not falling out I don't have it too tight but I got it in there so now I got my needle and we're going to flip it over so the loop, the opening of the loop is on the right, the right of the needle post. This is a needle post. This is a nipple. We carry these on our store too. They're super cheap. You get like a hundred for like five bucks. So I'll take my nipple and I put it right through my needle loop and then I take the whole thing and I put it right on the post. Okay, just set it there. Now, one reason I always suggest this machine to uh, people that are new to rotaries is because it's super easy, right? Some rotaries take rubber bands. Uh, some rotaries take uh, have the tension wheel like the Valor, so you got to fuss with it a little bit. Not the Bishop. You put your needle in just like I showed you, and then see this little click? That's your needle click. You just Put your needle, make sure you're posted in and just click it in. That's it. That is it. All right. Perfect. So you just put your needle in your tube like I showed you. Put your nipple in your uh, needle loop. Make sure the opening on the needle loop is to the right. Push it down on your needle post and click in. And that is it. Your needle's in. That easy. Okay. So now we're going to... Uh, machine bag it so you can see my needle is not sticking out yet right there's no needle why because I gotta put my machine bag on you don't want to put your machine bag on with your needle sticking out or you might get plastic okay so and of course you know I think of everything so all these little things matter I pre-cut my machine bags so they already have a little opening at the corner and just put it on in and just a small opening and I put it to about right there that's it don't pull it down yet now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the machine on there you go now I got the machine on you can hear it listen pretty quiet right but no needle coming out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust it so just put your machine bag over loosen this up run the machine and then you just you just pull this back towards you. Now I'm pulling it forward, and I don't lo I lose my needle. I pull it back towards me. Ooh, there's the needle. So pull it back as far as you want to see your needle. Okay. So right about there. Let's try that. Let's tighten it up. Let's turn it around. And that's perfect. I don't know if you can see that really good. I'm gonna try to make sure you can see that. Let me see. You can also push right here. See, I just push that and that will give you an idea of how far your needle is out too. So about like that. Okay, and then when you run it, about like that. So I like to run mine about like when you sharpen a pencil. I like my needle sticking out about as, uh, like when you sharpen a pencil. 
I like to see my needles. Of course, I'm not going to insert that entire needle into the skin, just the tippity tip tip tips. But uh, that's how I like my needle. I think we should all be floating our needles out uh, a pretty good amount because uh, then when you're tattooing and you're working, you can really see your needles. Make sure this is tightened up. You know that's clicked in. It's on the needle post. It's fantastic. And then we put our machine bag over. And uh, from here, you, you, you know, you're ready to go. Uh, if you, if you want to you know, tighten this down a little bit, you can take a rubber band. We sell these on the store. And uh, they're like a bag of a thousand for like 10 bucks, but you can put a little rubber band, you know, uh, to keep that kind of secure. And uh, of course, we've got our clip cord, cover for the cord. I didn't put it on, so you could see how uh, pretty the RCA cord is we sell. But this is, it's all set up, uh, ready to go. So that is the setup for the Bishop, uh, pretty quick, pretty easy and you can see it runs really really good i love the critical the atom x this is a great 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 little power box it's magnetic so you can see it's magnetic you know so you can stick it to the side of uh your stainless steel card or mayo tray you can stick it on the bottom if you want but great and i think it's important that you get a power box that has numbers this is how you move your numbers up. You can see the numbers going up. When the numbers go up, that machine means the machine's running faster. You can hear it. Hear it? Hear that machine going faster. You roll, move your numbers down. That mach means the machine's running slower. Okay? So you always want to run your machine. The most important thing is to complement the speed of your hand. If you are tattooing fast, you're doing fast whip shading or fast circles, you might run a little bit faster. You tend to do slow circles or slow whip shading, then you want to run your machine a little bit slower. The speed of your power box should match the speed of your hand. And the smaller the needle, the lower the number. So singles, three liners, small needles, the lower the number. Uh, bigger needles like eight shaders, 11 mags, uh, that takes a little bit more oomph power to run that needle, so your numbers will go up a little bit. But uh, this is the Bishop. This is the Bishop, the V6. Let me just take this off so you can get a, a peek at it one more time. And uh, this is uh, Lamborghini Orange which I love, but it comes in hot gothic pink, red, purple. We got a gun middle gray. Um, great machine. Like I said, it will last you a long time. It's great for eyeliner, eyebrows, lips, areolas, everything, uh, anything we do in permanent makeup, it, it's fantastic for. I, I'm really proud uh, that I carry this. I'm proud to be a distributor for Bishop. And, uh, and I'm here for you guys. You know, I just, want, I just want to help you guys find a really good machine without spending a fortune. Like I said, this retails for $3.95. It's a fantastic price. Doesn't break the bank. Uh, tassel needles, which are, I think, some of the very, very best needles you're going to find in the industry. And the, the grips, the tassel uh, wrath grips. Uh, and we carry this all on our store, okay? And... Uh, that's all I can tell you, but if you got any questions or anything like that, um, you know, you can call us, 702-809-8237. You can call us Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6. You can uh, private message us, email us, uh, all that stuff. We're pretty easy to find and get in touch with, and we love talking about machines. We love helping fellow artists. It's it's just something I've been doing my, my entire career. I, I like hanging out with other artists and and I'm helping other artists and so it's just really uh, super cool for me so thank you very much for tuning in if you have any questions like I said just hit me up but uh the bishop the bishop v6 alright guys thanks a lot